Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. That's me right there. I'm here today to tell you about order of elements in the Jamboard web app with the ability to do custom backgrounds now. So we've had backgrounds, but they're only this. They're, you know, this is your selection of backgrounds. And I keep being asked, Tom, how can I do a, you know, an image as a background or lock something in place as a background? Well, now we can do it. And let's just add an image like we normally would. And I'll do a quick image search. And all right, we put that in there. And now if I want this to be the background, I would have to expand it. But now it's covering everything up, right? So what I can do is I can go to the three dots and I can go to order. And then if I hit send it back, now, all of my other elements are now on top of it, including this text, which I need to change the color of that to make that pop a little bit more. There we go. Now, if I were to grab the arrow and move it, and then, oh, I'm going to grab Gritty again. Notice every Gritty is behind everything because I have sent Gritty to back using the three-dot menu. You have to use that three-dot order, and Gritty already is in the back. So it doesn't matter what I do, and I can make this sticky note. Again, three dots, order. If I bring to front, now the sticky note will, note will always be over the arrow. It will always cover up the text. So order not only enables you to have an actual order of elements on your Jamboard Jam, but what it does is it makes you able to have custom backgrounds because no matter how many times I click on Gritty, Gritty will never go in front of these other elements because I sent Gritty to the back. Order in Jamboard on the web app, so nice and great for custom backgrounds. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.